and we're moving a couple turns uh, ahead and finishing that mission with one of my great, great merchants so that will give me some gold and that will increase my good relationships with Edinburgh, right? Uh, which is actually right now is providing me with uh, some units so it's always good to to get a good neighbor, especially if it's military um, and right now is the perfect time because I'm I'm moving ahead the first capital um, and I'm sh hopefully very soon I'll be able to start attacking uh, I don't think you guys miss that much again it's kinda hard to to record in one go all the all the game, right? Uh, especially because, uh, well, some part of the games are very slow, and you need to take a bunch of decisions. Hey, they're loving the king because they finally got access to cotton, and actually they were requiring cotton in in Jane and Rome. So that's good, 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 good. Good. That means that we're doing. Things okay. That was one of those luxury things that uh, people were asking about. No, no, no. I'm not gonna annex that city at all. Still, keep going the same way. All right. So let me see the victory progress and science. Not too much. Not too much. Diplomacy, diplomatic, culture. We don't have nothing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is great just to give you a head, uh, an idea how you doing. All right, so something to keep in mind. We're gonna be checking very often. Okay, so I'm moving ahead the capital, uh, and I'm already have my my big man, my legion, some archers in position, right? Gao is gonna be kinda difficult, but uh, as you guys can see the troop strain is only 12 in there so I should be able to break everything with just probably a couple uh, range attacks and then striking with the with the legion. I got a great general in here and remember it's very important that always give you your great general with a, a strong melee unit okay because the remember the great general is going to be spreading the bonus of attacking for all your troops that are surrounding him uh, but uh, he's very vulnerable so you don't want to get in trouble right so okay we're still in peace with them um, but uh, yes let's resume let's get a couple more units still very decent in gold production so I think I can afford an extra bunch of troops right oh well, actually those are gonna help me a lot to try to take down Gao right because there's a lot of warriors and archers outside unfortunately they can't do much more if you are attacking a legion that's why it was so critical this is the part of the game where the Roman actually dominate okay then the reason is that because you have access to legion and also ballista right and those two units are very powerful so and actually with the legion you also are able to build some roads so it's like a, a fort so it is the time for Rome to make a statement and try to control the map a little bit right so if by now you don't have access for to hey now I'm getting more units from Edinburgh that was fast and we're losing gap with them okay I'll make sure everything is fine with Edinburgh oh no no yes give us some gold so we now we're allies okay good 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 once that we are allies we have fully access to um to the territory, I can walk around. We, if we are friends, we can walk around his territory, and he's not, not gonna get upset or anything. But when we are allied, I also start getting. Uh, I can use the 
for example, the if Edinburgh has access to iron and we're allies, now I'm gonna have access to his iron, so that's pretty good. That's why you always need to keep a good relationship with your with your neighbors, right? Beautiful. Now we are able to choose one great person, great merchant is perfect because uh, if I'm not wrong, Budapest was asking for a for a great merchant, right? That's the bonus that I got with the uh, the wonder that I just finished, right? It's always important uh, to do those little missions, right? Okay, six more turns for my ballista, which is great. Once that I got that done, I should be able to move forward again, Gal, and then just wipe in a couple turns, right? And uh, if you do all those little missions with your neighbors, your city states, they, besides the fact that you're gonna get a better relationship with them, you can also uh, get well. Basically, that's the bonus you get in. Uh, get a better, better relationship with your with your neighbors. And is you see, Budapest already recognized my great merchant, so my culture increase. Because now we are allies too. Um, if we are allies, we get in like I th if I'm not wrong with allies, you get like a six culture. Mm -hmm. We are getting six culture from that uh, city state, which is pretty good. It adds for what we need, right? Um, still working between liberty and honor. Okay, let me see. I think if I'm going to war. Remember, always go for the for that path. Uh, I was probably thinking do something different, but oh, it looks like somebody's noticing that I <laughs> my troops are getting in position. And the thing is that um, oh wow, we got education very fast. It's pretty good. Yes, now we can start switching the the production cities for research. That's that's good depending on what and all the cities that I have um, they're doing a good job so I'm not planning to do anything with that but uh, it's always good to have that handling right so I was saying that uh, well, I will probably should be better if I go for another policy but uh, in this case I'm going to war and if I'm going to war well it's always good to have the uh, uh, valor and all those attacking bonuses as soon as possible, right? Okay, with this one, I should probably... Let me see. Hold on, I should probably build the... the custom house, which is gonna allow me to increase the... improve. You see, as you guys can see in the bottom, this is gonna improve the strategic resource in that tile. It's gonna give me more gold, um, which is pretty good. This is one of those special buildings, so it's always important to to use them. So you have a chance, right? Uh -huh, so now film. What we are doing, Kumai now? Yeah, we already got the the library. So maybe it's time to do the national college, national epic university, probably. Mm hmm Let's go for that. We need to increase the science, so that will come very handy, right? So, okay, let me see. We got zero horse available, uh, zero iron available. Ooh, okay. It's always good before starting a fight to just in case ask for something, right? I always do that. Um, you never know. You don't lose anything. Well, in, in Civilization 4 was easy. <laughs> it was a lot easier. Sometimes they just give you a lot of stuff and then the next turn you're attacking them. Well, so, it looks like the computer gets a little smarter now. Which is kind of scary. <laughs> so, I can see that the Shangulu's Empire has a bunch of archers and and warriors basically so I don't, th I don't think I'm gonna be able to st st 
them a chance against my legions and ballistas, right? I'm already start moving my ballistas north so they can get in position. Uh, ballista is ready. Yes. Oh, not too bad. A decent amount of culture and gold per turn, which is pretty good. Let's see, maybe it's, uh, it's time to start building uh, some other wonders. That would be that would be very interesting if we get some more gold. I mean, wonders, because the uh, the culture has been been doing great. So we don't want to mess around with them, right? Uh, ba -bum, ba -bum. Let's see what we're gonna do. Uh, one more turn. I guess we're gonna just let it go. Uh, one thing that I probably, I don't know, I'm sure you guys know. See, you can still buy some tiles, but actually, you are gonna get only the the full bonus of the tile if the tile is in a is close in a like a the the, the distance is like a tree of those tiles in that range. Okay. Otherwise, you're just gonna get the extra benefit of that tile, not the benefit itself. Like a let's say, for example. There is a tile with a, a gold, okay? It's a tile with gold, but it's not close. It's like a four tiles away from Rome. Yeah, probably Rome is going to be able to cover that tile with the culture and expand the borders. Um, but we're not going to get the, the gold production from there, right? Uh, let me build a custom housing here. Just for the helmet. Um, yeah, you're not gonna get the bonus of gold production of that resource, but you are gonna get probably the actually you're gonna get the happiness that that gold production give it to you. All right, so that's something that you gotta have clear. I know sometimes you see your city expanding, the borders expanding all over the place, uh, but that's something that you need to be careful because uh, if it's not in a range of three by three. Um, you're not gonna be able to to get full access to that resource, okay? So it's just another thing to keep an eye, okay? We are learning together in this one, so don't worry about it. Uh, ballistas are moving, and if the ballistas are moving, that means that the whole army is getting in position. I mean, it's kind of suspicious. I get moving all my troops to the border. It's like a eh, I will agree the guy is a little bit concerned. <laughs> you wanna see a bunch a bunch of legions running around. Okay, so it's gonna happen when you uh, play against in, in multiplayer games or things like that. When when you see your your neighbors gonna start pumping some so legions I think it's time to run away. <laughs> <laughs> but again, this is the the period of the time that they actually Rome shines over some other civilization, not over every single one, but some some of them. So we're in good shape, and we need to take advantage of that, right? I know it's not probably uh, where you wanna go for it, for an, an aggressive kind of game, but still. You have to do it. You need to take those bonuses. Otherwise, if you don't take advantage of that, it's going to be more difficult at the end. Anyway, let's continue in the next video. It's going to get interesting. <laughs>